What's going on, everyone? It's Ryan. I uh, wanted to do a little update uh, to the uh, Magic Lantern tutorial for how to install Magic Lantern on your Canon EOS M camera. Just I didn't like how the first one turned out, and I also want to start cranking out and putting up videos uh, on this channel, at least as much as I possibly can. Uh, both filmmaking tutorials, as well as Magic Lantern tutorials, as well as uh, movie reviews, and basically just anything I want. So, first things first, uh, when you uh, are setting up your camera to install Magic Lantern on your USM. What you want to do is format your card in the camera. So go into the menu and uh, head over to the first wrench and go to format card. Uh, make sure low level formats checked. I don't think it really matters, but I always like to keep it checked and then hit OK. It'll format the card as you can see it is doing. And then if we head out of the menu, now we have a freshly formatted card and we can hop over to the computer. Once your card is plugged in, you can quit out of photos if it opens up, which tends to be the case. And you can head over to Magic Lantern's website, which is just uh, magiclantern.fm. Link will be down in the description. And all what you're gonna wanna do is head over to the Downloads tab and go to Download Nightly Builds and go ahead and select the EOS M from the camera dropdown menu. And then download the latest Build. Now, occasionally the latest build will fail um, because sometimes, as, the th as these things go, uh, certain builds that people will try to manipulate and get more things working will fail. And if the most latest recent build has failed, just click Show Older Builds and select the most recent date build that has passed. Fortunately enough for us, though, the July 13th, 2016 build was successful, so we can just download it and then extract it. And now we have all these files, these fun, uh, interesting files. And all you're gonna wanna do is take these three files, copy them, and then paste them onto uh, your memory card. You'll see that I actually already have them, but I'll just, for the sake of the video, um, paste them onto this card. And now we can eject the card, put it back in the camera, and finish up installing uh, Magic Lantern on the USM. All right, so now that we've reinserted the card, before you uh, go ahead and install Magic Lantern, you're gonna wanna make sure you do have a fresh battery. And actually, what you're gonna wanna do is switch into uh, photo mode. Uh, you need to be in photo mode to install the update. So just make sure you're in photo mode, and it doesn't really matter which one, but it's nice to just have it in manual. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go into the menu and go to the fourth wrench, firmware update, camera, It'll ask you if you want to update the firmware. Go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see a bunch of stuff appear on the uh, screen. And it should say Magic Lantern or something along those lines. Yep, Magic Lantern install. And it'll ask you to restart your camera, which we'll go ahead and do. Power it back on. And now we should have Magic Lantern. So if we hit info and toggle over to the blank, sure enough, here we go, we got Magic Lantern. So if we go ahead and switch over to video mode, now we, if we use our two fingers and to get into the Magic Lantern menu, you just take two fingers and tap on the screen. Uh, now we have access to all of our options. So we can change our white balance, uh, we can change our ISO in actual uh, third stop increments like 160 and 320, which is nice. And we have access to all the cool features of Magic Lantern, and that's basically it. Uh, if you want to enable the raw recording functionality right away, I would recommend uh, checking the MLV Play as well as the raw rec options, and then just turning your camera off and turning it back on. Double tap. And there's the raw video mode, so you can go ahead and shoot raw video or just enable whatever settings you want. And that's basically it. Now you should have Magic Lantern successfully installed on your Canon EOS M. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.